Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Luke Murray, the co-founder and CTO from XY Sense. Luke, it's great to have you on the show today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about XY Sense and what it is that you guys do? Yeah, thanks, Ali. Great to be here. Um, so as you said, I'm co-founder and CTO of XY Sense, and we've created a IoT sensor solution for corporate workplaces. It delivers a kind of real world Google Analytics for physical spaces. So it helps corporate teams understand which spaces like desks or meeting rooms or project spaces are actually being used in real time. So they can better plan out future builds of offices, um, whether they're growing or contracting, as well as integrations into day-to-day -day tooling for a better workplace experience for the people using the space. Uh, right now, it's, uh, our solution's been rolled out globally for large corporates that have a lot of sort of commercial real estate to do exactly what I said, um, help them plan strategically when they need to get new space, when they can give up space, and really integrate those uh, workplace experiences for the changing workplace. Wow, incredible. I mean, moving into 2021, a lot of our customers are looking into tech that helps with exactly that, you know, the real time reporting on space utilization and safe distancing as well. So it's really great to hear from an IoT partner. Um, we've not had an IoT partner, so very exciting. Luke, can you tell us a little bit about why having IoT sensor data hosted on the cloud is actually beneficial for your customers as well? Yeah, it's uh, really comes down to scale. <laughs> Uh, we have, as I said, real-time data coming in. So every few seconds, all of our sensors are, are collecting anonymous um, usage data. And we've got to crunch that into actual you know, insights that our customers can use, as well as integrations into those other platforms. So the cloud has let our customers not worry about scale as they roll out these sensors across their whole portfolio. And we're talking, you know, large organizations with portfolios across the globe, um, multiple countries, multiple cities. So having all of that data come to the cloud where we can do the you know big sort of number crunching really helps both us as a growing company with scale, we can endlessly sort of scale out and as well as a customer not, to, not having to worry about that. The second part is those integrations. So being able to securely you know, via the cloud with APIs and stuff, book into some of their smart building platforms or their booking platforms has really sort of enabled, again, uh, the rollout to go really smoothly and quickly. Very impressive. And along with the benefits that you've mentioned, you know, that cloud has with your customers, XY Sense delivers a really easy, cheap, daisy chain setup of cables over batteries as well, which is cool. That obviously drives down total cost of ownership for customers, which is another benefit. But Luke, moving on a little bit from everything that you guys have accomplished already, can you tell us a little bit about some of the exciting projects that you actually have coming up? Yeah, um, I'll split that into sort of two areas. We've got on the sensor. So we've got a proprietary machine learning algorithm running on the sensor. It processes, every, processes everything actually on the little sensor and only anonymous data is leaving that um, device. Uh, there we're looking at some things around understanding anonymous, anonymously uh, paths of movement. So we can understand how people are collaborating in physical space. So, you know, at a team level, you know, finance is always going over to legal. So they're collaborating together. We've got different teams collaborating that come, are coming together in different spaces to really understand how the space is being used, as well as what we call anonymous behaviours. Again, getting down to how the space is being used. So, you know, are people collaborating on a whiteboard? Um, are they walking around talking on a phone because they can't find a phone booth or can't find anywhere to have that private conversation? All of that to sort of, again, go back into the design of the physical space to create a better experience for the people that actually use the space. As the office is there for people to actually, you know, perform their work and be productive. Mm. Uh, on the other side, we've got the cloud. As I said before, we've got um, real-time data coming in. That is sort of the base building block. We are, we're not handing over billions of rows to our customers and they have to sort through it to figure out what's happening. We're crunching that down into you know, aggregations and summaries and giving real insights. And where we're going there is using some of the uh, machine learning stuff um, with AWS actually, to look at how we can do predictions and insights from that data to sort of help our customers get ahead and actually start making strategic decisions instead of sort of reacting to things. Wow, that's really cool. And I, I guess you only need to look at our neighbors in Singapore, for instance, to see some of the smart city technologies. And it's pretty clear that XY Sense is moving in that direction, which is cool. 
So over the last 12 months, the way that we all think and interact with our workplace has obviously changed during COVID. So do you think that the office is ever going to kind of go back to normal? And if not, or if so, how is XY Sense going to help shape that workplace of the future? Great question. <laughs> um, we do believe the workplace has changed forever. It's actually not only changed just because of COVID. This change was slowly happening before COVID sort of hit. COVID just accelerated this change. And that change is the move from a traditional, everyone comes to the office and sits at their desk into a more blended, working from home, coming into the office to do specific types of work, or not even working from home, maybe working in a little satellite office or a co-working space closer to your home, and then coming into the sort of headquarters every now and again to do some, um, whether it's you know, purely focus work or coming to, to meet your team and doing project work. That change, we actually already saw that slowly happening. Um, COVID just really accelerated that. Uh, and where we come in, it's still really important to capture that information. I've talked about the experience of the workplace. As the workplace changes, the experience changes as well, whether that's tools to help you find space that you need to do your job when you come into those um, offices, or whether it's the uh, company actually understanding how that space is being used so they can actually either cut back on space and you know have quite a lot of saving <laughs> come from that or actually they want to expand out more um, to more spaces over you know over multiple different areas and sort of instead of having one large headquarters have a, a few different satellite offices mm -hmm. and you can't really rely on you know spot every six months you know students walking through and doing a, a, a sort of <laughs> clipboard survey which is traditionally how a lot of these uh, utilization surveys are done that real-time data just gives you that insight regardless of the day regardless of if people were in the office or not as well as that integration into the experience of the space sounds like xy sense has um really made that process a little bit easier and, and you it's a bit more accurate too yeah definitely luke thank you so much for coming on the show iot is personally um, a topic that i find really interesting and fascinating especially with all the changes that have been going on recently so thank you so much for your time and if anyone has any comments or questions please pop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you thank you so much thank you